evening and welcome to the barrel house this is an amazing find from hunt day the hunt day video will be coming out in two days but i want to get this review out i have a friend over i wanted somebody else to help you know just kind of taste it see what we think so i'm gonna let him pop one cork and i'm gonna pop one cork and then we're gonna let it breathe and we're gonna get glasses ready to go and uh, go from there we have shanks which is a five to six year bourbon from Michter's that is an impossible find. This is the 2023 version. I, I walked into a liquor store, got incredible lucky they had it. They didn't allocate and let me get this one too, which is the Bomb Burgers. And this is 108 proof. And this one, I need glasses, Lance, can you read the proof on that? Sorry. It is pretty small. Uh, I think it's 90.4 proof. 90, 91.2. 91.2 proof. So this is gonna be definitely a lower proof. This is supposed to be more of the candied sweet bubble gummy from what I'm hearing. And both amazing. Everybody I've ever talked to said they are unbelievable. So let's do a cork pop and a tasting on these and see what you think. So here we go. We'll let you pop uh, the bomb burgers and I will pop the shanks. And they, if you see on these, it's kind of cool. They don't have the plastic and the label and the wrapper. This is just the old tax stamp. I mean, that's that's kind of neat. That is Isn't cool. that cool? Yeah. That just got the little paper tax stamp on there. All right. Huh? Not great. They're okay. They're all right. So let's let them breathe for a minute. And uh, I'm excited for these. I didn't read a bunch on, you know, what the flavor is, what they taste like. I didn't do a whole lot of back end on Michter's, but these come from, you know, when you get into these old school Kentucky distilleries and you know, E.H. Taylor and Stag and Russell's is from, you know, the, from the Russell boys from that. E.H. Taylor is, you know, a name, they all have names of James Beam and John J. Bowman. And so you always have a story behind these old storied uh, distilleries and these are both um, kind of old recipes that come out and they're the highest end of Michter's so with the age statement only being the five to six years kind of gets me thinking a little bit that's not like really old but as you can see the color on these if you look I'll, I'll go to the side like that the color is pretty good we can put a little light on them it's gonna be a pink light or blue light or whatever light but they definitely you can tell i mean that's a, it's got to be an, a heavier char this one's definitely a little darker it's 108 proof um so they probably put a little heavier this to be a heavier char this might have a little bit of a toast in the barrel i didn't read that part of it i just wanted to uh try and not not go too crazy about uh the story behind it so we're gonna grab two glasses for you two glasses for me um i on this I will start with it neat but then I am gonna put probably ice on it to let it open up and see what I think the difference is so um, let me find the shot glass we will just do a little ounce pour so we will do the 108 proof will be on the right we'll try that second we'll try the lower proof first and then Okay. So, a little breathe a little bit longer. Anything? What do you think about? You excited to kind of try? Do you, do you ever drink mixers? Um, we've had a couple, but not too many. Yeah, I'm not. I don't do a lot of mixers. I've always looked for the higher end stuff. Um, a couple I've been looking for, I haven't found. But then I saw these. And and grab them uh this is not at all i got another huge hunt day so that video will be out on wednesday and then the other stuff i found will be a tasting on that later in the week i usually don't always open this stuff but i want to jump on this because it's so hard to find and i just hear rave reviews whenever you can find it and um most friends i have that have been drinking bourbon a long time have never seen it never tried it you can't find it so i got really lucky to make sure I had somebody to help me try it because it's nice to have a second review. And he's a great neighbor and here we go. So we're ready to go. And so first one we have, and we're gonna do the Shanks, which is the uh, 91.4 proof, correct? Yeah, that's what it was. So, oh wow. Do you have the one on the left? Yep. Okay. 
So I get a lot of kind of fruit, sweet. Wow, I'm not even sure how to explain that. That's it's like an orange. Yeah, orange peel, kind of sweet sugary. Almost like citrusy. Yeah, but definitely a nice, almost a, a vanilla back behind it. There's like a kind of a nice mild base. I don't know if it would be like a... Yeah. Oh, okay, well, let's, let's give it a go. That's very smooth, kind of orange citrus, and then I immediately get almost like a, well, I hate to say it, but almost like a bubble gum. Like that sports pack gum that you got. I mean, it's better than that. It'd be like a really good, like a, do you remember at all when I played baseball, it was called Quench. And it was like a bubble gum with, and it was infused with like orange in the middle or citrus in the middle. Mm. And it was, and it was, this was like baseball and then football, and, you know, after high school. And it was like, this supposed to be this, you know, like energizing gum called quench and uh, supposed to, anyways, it, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like a sweet sugary finish after kind of a citrus uh, beginning and uh, it's smooth and it's still there. I mean, I'm like, I'm still tasting it going down. Yeah. It's just smooth. It's now down here and it's just this nice, just smooth. Remember my youth, I don't even know, just like taste and stuff I got when I was younger. Um, unhealthy, sugary stuff. But this has got the fruit and it's bourbon. It's of course bourbon, but very healthy because it's 51% corn leaves, so it's special. Yeah, it does have like a candy aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, it's got a little bit kind of a candied orange sugary. I wouldn't, I mean, I'm, I was never a big gum person, but I'm trying to think of a candy that I could, maybe those. It was like tang. Tang, maybe a little bit, yeah. With a with a very nice, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I don't know that I drink tang anymore, but yeah, it's just got something, um, you know, maybe those like, those sour patch things that have like the powdered sugar on them, you know, that are fruity. Oh yeah. They give you that about. sugary flavor. Mm -hmm. Does yep. that, does that sound right? Yeah, that sounds right. Something right. like that. There's no harshness whatsoever. No, absolutely I smooth. I could, yeah, I could, I could pour myself into a chair and now get out. Yeah, that's, that is delicious. All right, now we're going to, we're going to step our game up. We're going up to the 108 proof. So, um, this is a, this is the same five to six year, um, really hard to find. And, um, yeah, let's, I'm not going to, let's just go. Let's just see what we think. It's, these are both opened up for a bit now, so, oh, wow. Yeah, that's more ma like a maple brown sugar. Yeah, it's definitely. Maybe like a caramel maple brown yeah, sugar. it's definitely thicker. Yeah, this is like those, I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm thinking like those, you know, those uh, almonds and cashews you can get at the carnival where they spin them in sugar. and Yeah, like the candy. Yeah, nuts. like the candy almonds and nuts. Yeah, that's what, because it's got a little bit of an oak, maybe nutty. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's they're they're different completely, um, which I expected them to be. And this is going to be a little warmer because it's you know it's almost twenty proof more, and um, it's definitely got a little bit more. There there is no harshness anywhere in this. No burn. No anything. This is just smooth. I mean, this is like dropping on ice ball of a cherry and it's basically a fruity old fat. I mean, this is almost a pre, this mixed drink ready to go. Just throw it on an ice ball. Uh, absolutely smooth, fantastic, low proof, incredible. Um, these are both a little pricey. Uh, MSRP on them is up there. Uh, but yeah, you don't get them and I had to try them. So, uh, and this one, this one will probably open up with a little bit of water, which I'm actually excited to put a piece of ice on it. It's very good, smooth. This to me has a little bit more baking spice. Mm -hmm. It's like a brown, this would be like an apple.
apple brown sugar pound cake. How's that sound? Yeah. Or like a coffee cake. Maybe like that. I mean, like not... a, almost like an apple. There you go. <laughs> I, yeah, I was thinking like an, because I wouldn't, with the spice, I, I'm not calling cinnamon, but maybe that spice would be like, yeah, like um, like an apple strudel. Yeah. So mm. something like baked good one. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Something that grandma made that you just freaked out over. My grandma used to make caramel nut rolls homemade that I couldn't wait to have. So, and then when I got older, she showed me how to make Kahlua, so. <laughs> and Bailey's. They are both incredible. They're both amazing. I am glad I got them. If you can find these, please get these. They are a must. I'd love to have another bottle of both. These will be sippers that I will drink all winter. This one especially, I'm already thinking of a football game where snow is flying. Yeah. It's cold outside, maybe sitting out back in the fall. You're just trying to hang on to that last warm day and the leaves are falling off, you're watching football and you are drinking one of these to stay warm. This is what I'm thinking. This this definitely is like a it's like a hot toddy already in the mm. you know, without without the toddy part. This would be really good with a those really nice expensive sugar cookies. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good too. Or it would just be good just by itself. <laughs> but it would definitely be good with dessert. And this one is just, um, yeah, uh, I would, if you can get this, um, especially the ladies, people aren't as crazy about bourbon or people you're trying to get into bourbon that are other drinkers of other stuff, throw this in an ice ball, throw a cherry in it, and hand it to them. Maybe a little tiny bit of water, and they would love this. And I know I just said water, and you're like, ah. but I just mean this. I mean, it's expensive, but if you get something like this, you want other people to try it. It's really smooth, but maybe with a little bit of ice on it. Um, it, it it's fantastic. They're both fantastic. So uh, look for the video coming. This was a hunt day craziness that I could not believe when I. When I asked at the liquor store and I was talking to them, they're like, we have blah and blah. And I went, what and what? I mean, I was, I was in shock. Never seen them. I thought they were a myth. I mean, thought they were, they're a unicorn of unicorns, both of them. Um, luckily, there's a release is out right now. That's why I want to get this video out. Right now is the release. So if you can talk to your friends in liquor stores, talk to a manager, look for it. They're getting it at this moment. So this is when you want to find it. Two weeks from now, see you next year. So, uh, good luck, happy hunting, and hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to enjoy this whiskey and go enjoy the rest of Labor Day and uh, have some smoked meat with some whiskey. So, cheers, everybody. <laughs>